Avishav was in the land of cotton. Oy gavalt, it's not forgotten. Look, Ave, oy ve, oy ve, Dixieland. Avishland, where I was born. Oily and one Shabbos morn. Look away, look away. Oy ve, Dixieland. Shavas in Dixie. Oy vey. Oy vey. Dixie land, I'll open a stand. Lip and die in Dixie. Oy vey. Oy vey. Oy vey down south in Dixie. Oy vey. Oy vey. Oy vey down south in Dixie. Where I was born, oily on one shiny moon. Look away, look away, oy vey, Dixie land. Wish I was in Dixie, away, away, in Dixie land. I take my stand, live and die in Dixie, oy vey, oy vey. Oy vey down south in Dixie. Oy vey, oy vey, oy way down south in Dixie. Oy vey. Oops, wrong thing. That's if dogs run free, then why not we? Across the swooping plain. My ears hear a symphony of two mules, trains, and rain. The best is always yet to come. That's what they explained to me. Just do your thing. You'll be king if dogs run free. What does that mean? Dogs run free. Let the dog let the, off the leash? Get run over? Why? What's the swooping plane? What's with the mules? What does he, you know, have his own private mule bringing drugs in for him? Well, let's look. Let's look at this a little closer. Dogs can be like, he my dog, he my slave, man. He do what I want him to do, man. If slaves won free, why not white people? Across the swooping plain. Across ghetto neighborhoods where people swoop down on you and mug you and rape you and kill you. My ears hear a symphony of two mules, trains, and rain. He hears something different. He hears reconstruction. Two mules, 40 acres and a mule, was reparations for slavery. Train is a group of people that travel together like carpetbaggers. And rain is uh, violence, the Ku Klux Klan that came out of the reconstruction period. The best is always yet to come. That's what they explained to me. Uh, just wait. Blacks will get their act together. You know, it's just going to take a little time. That's all. We're sorry, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Just do your thing. Just go out and commit crimes. You'll be king. You'll be like Martin Luther King. That's sarcastic. If dogs run free. If slaves are liberated. Sounds like a beatnik poem, you know. If dogs run free, why not me? Across the swamp of time. If slaves run free, free from prison. The swamp is a place where you get bogged down in, and it's a difficult place of immense difficulty, and time is doing time. 
you know, the prison sentence. My mind weaves a tapestry. No, my mind weaves a symphony. Dylan's brain uh, puts together a different picture of things where everything is harmonious. And tapestry of rhyme. Tapestry is like the tapestry of the Old South, the uh, prevailing conditions and the uh, sophisticated culture, which has rhyme, makes sense. Like, th this has no rhyme or reason. So rhyme can also mean truth. O oh, winds which mush my tail to thee, so it may flow and be. O oh, destruction that causes me to pray to God, so the south will rise again, flow and be. To each his own state's rights. If some people want uh, segregation in their state, they have a right to it. It's state's rights rather than the federal government determining things. To each his own, it's all unknown. If dogs run free. If dogs run free, then what must be must be. And that is all. If slaves are allowed to be free, uh, there's not, you know, there's, what must be must be. Uh, if blacks are allowed their freedom, there will always be crime, and that is that. It's evolutionary. And then he goes on to say, true love can make a blade of grass stand up straight and tall. Sarcastic. True love can make a blade of grass stand up straight into a loving blacks can make something very primitive evolve into a human being. Also, loving blacks will make them evolve faster. In harmony, in a relationship in which various components exist together without destroying one another, such as whites and blacks, with the cosmic sea, where the natural of order, order of things rules, cosmic so pervasive and all-inclusive as to exist, in or affect their world, true love, loving blacks, or the N-word lover, the N-word loving, needs no company. It doesn't need a subdivision like the national of military, like the National Guard, to keep them in line. Sarcastic, loving blacks, it can cure the soul. It can correct the harmful situation that blacks have created. Soul of or relating to black Americans and their culture, soul brother, soul food. It can make you whole. Uh, it can replace the part that is missing in blacks, the genes, if dogs run free, if the slaves are allowed to be free. This is, you know, this is crazy, man. This is like neo-Confederate, pro-slavery, anti-black. This guy is like demented. Of course, nobody's going to believe me that, you know, I mean, it's right there. Nobody else can come up with a more co uh, coherent, cogent translation of this poem. It's obviously not about letting your dogs off a leash in the dog run. You know, dogs have got to symbolize something. So that's the story of Dylanology. It's so weird that it's incomprehensible to most. It, Dylan has an entirely different persona that most people accept. Maybe I should just let it be that way. You know, not tell the truth. Because it'll further progressive uh, thinking. But, as a Dylanologist, I've taken an oath to portray Bob Dylan in the worst possible light.